Libra, hey everyone, it's Intuition Angel reading for you guys for this week in August. I hope everyone is doing okay. Um, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you Libras out there. And if it does not resonate, please check your birth charts. If it does resonate, please hit that like button down there for me, please, and thank you. So I was getting distracted while, while I was starting your guys' reading. I'll tell you why. Um, I did a pre-shuffle and I kept seeing the moon and the sun. So definitely something has been exposed something has brought has been brought to the light something has definitely been um exposed i don't think it's about you guys well i feel like something here is exposed for you guys and it has a lot to do with your path in life and i feel like you guys are moving on to a brand new path in your life but someone here has got exposed for something here i feel like it happened in the past three days i just heard some got exposed here, all right, or something got exposed. And I was also getting that you guys are doing very well, and someone is irritated by that, and I kept getting this irritating energy. You guys got to understand that when you're moving forward in life and you're very peaceful in your life, Libra, um, you're going to get irritating feelings, but you got to understand that those feelings are not your feelings because if everything is going good in your life, why are you irritated? So I feel like someone here is irritated with you. <laughs> Excuse me, but yeah, that's what I feel about the situation. Someone here is irritated by you. Moving forward, also, I heard I had a lot of channelings before I turned the camera on. Um, I heard that you guys are going to be going very far in life, and right when you go very far in life, a secret is going to come out that should have came out years ago, but it was being hidden from you, and that secret is going to irritate you. Um, if you understand what I mean, because you've been it was something that someone has maybe lied to you about okay but it's all a test because i feel like while this is going to be thrown into your path while you're trying to move forward and your test is to continue to keep going and not pay it any attention but it's going to be hard because the situation it has hurt you a long time ago or it's hurting you now and in the future this will come out or however this comes out but it'll be coming out as soon as you're on the right path to something I, I just kept hearing that, okay? This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. So you have someone in your energy right now. All right, what else for Libra? Holy Spirit Angels, what else for Libra? Yeah, look, deception. Someone is wearing a false mask on this relationship. Okay. I'm getting that someone here that could have been the one for you, they were wearing a false mask. Uh, this situation had great potential. Um, you guys, you know, came together a lot, and I feel like you guys both know, both knew that each other was the one, is what I'm getting here, but someone here was wearing a false mask in their relationship. What else for Libra? Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. You guys are separated right now because of the situation. Um, I feel like when this person separates from you, they always feel like, you know, you could be the one, this is what they think about a lot, but you release them, release your ex. The time is now the time is now to clear your energy and let go of control issues something about your anger allow the situation to unfold naturally remember when I said um, some situation will come up to you right when you're on your own path and not even paying attention to what's going on it'll come to you something that's been hidden from you something about your anger control your anger issues when this happens you could be a Libra with Aries somewhere in your chart somewhere okay that's what I'm getting. And tell me about this could be the one for Aries. I feel like a really calm and focused Libra, but at the same time, I'm feeling like a really angered Libra. This secret or whatever, this whatever is revealed is going to make you pretty mad. So we have the butterfly here. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So it seems like you guys are, oh, okay. This was a relationship that was supposed to teach someone something, but it didn't work out because we have not today, not dealing hurt, avoiding conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry. I feel like someone was taking their past out on you. Coffin brings new, bring new beginnings, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So it's been deaded, but I feel like, okay, Libra, I feel like you guys are so protected that as soon as someone, you know, rejects you it's for protection 
And you're going to be getting a new beginning regardless. Clarify deception, please. The Libra. Talking. Interested, conversing more, awaited messages arrive. Sword in the Rose, Clarity, Truth, Revelation. Someone here is going to try to tell you the truth to try to um, hurt your feelings. If they try to come back and try to tell you the truth about something, now keep in mind it doesn't necessarily have to come from your masculine or your feminine, but you're going to hear something. You're going to get some clarity and some sort of truth through a conversation when you talk to someone. Maybe it could be a third party that knows you guys. Okay. Yeah, we have clock. Need time takes time in time. Time to heal progress. In time, this will come out. I, feel, I really feel like this is going to come out in the near future. If you be patient and wait, you're, you're going to be revealed about who's deceptive and what exactly they've done and who was involved and all kinds of stuff. Clarify a separation, please, for Libra. That's what I'm getting, like, strong energy of that. Yeah, we have heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Someone really does regret um, separating from you, Libra. What else for Libra? Yeah, someone here regrets it. Acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. But at the same time, no one's talking here. Um, I feel like you guys both are really silent. I feel like you're going to end up releasing this person because you know something about them or you will. You will. This seems karmic to me. We have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. I feel like this is the type of person to always make it seem like they're working on the situation, but they more sabotage everything yeah passion insane chemistry like each other equally having fun this person just wanted you around to have fun so you got to release this person is what i'm getting yeah this person comes in with the i like you all the time but you got to watch out they're deceptive they're hiding something they have some sort of truth that they need to tell you they better tell you themselves before you find it out from someone else you guys probably already know especially if you watch tarot but, you know, I mean, I guess this is how Libras are. Half the time, we already know the truth. We just want you to tell us the truth because it's more respectable to tell us the truth than from us to hear it somewhere else. Or we find out first, and then we come to you asking you, you know, because we already know the answer, and you still lie. So that's how Libras are. We don't like that. And I feel like this is what's definitely going to be a deal breaker in this situation. Someone's missing out on a lot of money, Libra. Someone is mad about a, a commitment or some sort of legacy that you're starting. Someone likes to bully you and your legacy. I saw the Knight of Swords, so I heard bully. All right, Holy Spirit and Angels, what is the energy right now for Libra? What is the energy right now for Libra? Okay, Eight of Swords. What else for Libra? Someone here is trapped in something. Okay, someone here is trapped in something that they invested in. It could have been a good investment that they invested in Libra, but at the same time, they're still stuck in it. They're trapped. Um, I feel like this person also has a fear of investing in businesses. They have a fear for that. What else for Libra? I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about someone around you. Someone has a fear of investing. Or they invest poorly. They invest in the wrong things. We have the Three of Wands here, waiting patiently. I feel like this person fears that you're growing without them. Yeah, I just heard the word grow. Someone fears that you're growing without them. Then we have the Ten of Swords here at the bottom, so you've ended things. This person is like the type of person to like wait for something to end for you, but it's not going to end. They're going to always be in this Eight of Swords situation in their mind, wishing that things... You're not in the Eight of Swords at all. I feel like you guys are freed from something, and you're starting to grow and manifest. You're waiting for something. What else for Libra? What else for Libra? We have the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups here, Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Give me the outcome for Libra. Thank you. We have the Nine of Wands in the reverse with the Knight of Swords in the reverse here. Like I said, someone here is like trying to wound you or something like that. You have something really protected here. You have your finances really protected. They don't want you, they want you to be vulnerable when it comes to your finances. And they're gonna always wait for you to be vulnerable. That's what I'm getting here with the seven of pentacles and the four of pentacles here. I feel like this, I feel like you're really happy though. Like you could have like a family. Oh, okay. So someone here is like this could be multiple people doing this to you. 
with the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Swords here. Tell me about the Eight of Swords, please, for Libra. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Libra? Two of Wands in the reverse. Someone here lacks planning. Some people are so afraid to plan. They don't even know which direction to go. Yeah, we have Temperance here. Okay. What else for Libra? You're healing. You're doing things in moderation. We have judgment in the reverse. This person made a wrong judgment call on you for one. This person has no direction. You, you're the only one with direction here. Even if this, even if they were guided, you know what I mean? Even if they were guided spiritually, I feel like they don't have any connection to spirit. I really don't. I feel like this person maybe does have a guardian angel around them, but they refuse to. They ignore the guardian angel out of fear. They probably do have an ancestor around them, but... You know, with the King of Cups in reverse, they feel like it's easier to act that way. And tell me about uh, temperance, please, for Libra. The Six of Swords in reverse. They have, they're not going anywhere. They're not moving on or any of that. I feel like this person lied and tried to put you in illusions about something and it just didn't work. They got caught up in their own illusions. They got caught up in their own lies is what I just heard. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles, please, for Libra. Seven of Pentacles for Libra. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Six of Pentacles in reverse came out. I feel like someone here um, invested in someone or something that ended up taking more money than giving. Okay, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please, for Libra. Six of Cups in the reverse. Strength in the reverse with the Four of Pentacles. Someone here is, like, really weak, but they hold that back. They hold back a lot of their energy. It's, the reason why they're weak is because they're always holding back their energy. This person um, with the Six of Cups in the reverse, I feel like you... you on one hand, Libra, you're taking care of your childhood memories. You're you're healing your past childhood wounds here, and you maybe you had a lot of bad memories. This person sees you as someone with a lot of bad memories too. So this person knows what they've done to you or these people. Something about your childhood is really important right now. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please, in reverse, please, for Libra. Six of Cups in reverse for Libra. Page of Wands in the reverse. What are these reversed cards? Because something didn't work. Tell me about the Page of Wands in the reverse. There's also bad news. Someone is getting bad news about children. Five of Pentacles here. Someone is getting bad news about children and something that they have invested in. And it's leaving them out in the cold. Could be a fire sign child involved. I'm also seeing Earth here. Keep Capricorn energy bad news about a child something that they invested in someone here invested a lot of money in, into uh, a child that maybe wasn't theirs that could be for some of you because that story is going on around a lot but others of you this is your childhood and how you've been put out in the cold and how you're learning how to invest and grow differently now and you're definitely moving forward but i'm hearing both stories to be honest with you clarify the five of pentacles please for Libra, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Someone got some clarity about something and now it's resulting in someone not having money. Someone feels abandoned or out in the cold. They feel outcasted all because of what they found out. So there's been some secrets revealed, whether in your own life or your person's life. And I feel like it has a lot to do with a child. Tell me about the Three of Wands, please, for Libra. Three ones for Libra. Holy Spirit and Angels. We have the Seven of Cups with the Queen of Wands here in the reverse. This Queen of Wands, this Queen of Wands in reverse is a karmic energy, okay? She's not uh, very, let's just say she's beautiful, but she uses her beauty for the wrong things, right? And she uses her beauty to get what she wants to get what she wants out of people. She's a witch also. She put this person in illusions. She put this person in illusions. Now, it could be one person or this could be multiple women here that this person is attracted to. And I feel like this person always had left you in illusions for, you know, these Queens of Wands energies. Okay, tell me about the Queen of Wands in reverse. 
for Libra. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, look, see? Toxic energy here. Could be, actually be a Capricorn. It's like this person is obsessed with sex and things like that. They could have probably gotten pregnant by this person here with the Ace of Cups, but the Emperor's in the reverse with the star in the reverse. The Emperor didn't even want the baby. Didn't even want the baby. You tell me about the devil, please, for Libra. Ace of Cups, there's that baby. This person made a toxic, I don't want to say toxic baby, but they did make a toxic connection and got pregnant. Through illusions, magic, toxicity, bonding them to them or some sort of way. And it had a lot to do with sex here with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Just, just plain reckless energy. Tell me about the Ten of Cups, please, for Libra. Ten of Cups, please, for Libra. Ten of Cups for Libra. Also hearing that this person um, knows about you. That Queen of Wands, she knows about you. That's why she did the magic. We have the King of Pentacles here with the Seven of Wands. Someone here is protecting their money, protecting their family. We have the Five of Cups here. And tell me about this King of Pentacles, please. For Libra. King of Pentacles for Libra. What are they protecting and why? We have the Nine of Swords here, the High Priestess, and the Hangman. Wow. This person was protecting a family or protecting a bunch of people that had secrets about them or secrets. You know, things were hidden from this person. This person had to be, like, turned on their head with the Hangman here. This person had no idea until they follow their intuition. Now they're out of the Nine of Swords and they're here to protect their family. So this could be someone from your past returning, trying to protect you, is what I'm getting here, Libra, and their children with you, because I'm seeing with the Ten of Cups, it is a family. Tell me about the Nine of Swords in the reverse, please, for Libra. Nine of Swords in reverse for Libra. Because I'm seeing a provider here. I'm not seeing a toxic man, I'm seeing more of a toxic woman. Toxic man was definitely confused in this reading. Yeah, we have the Two of Swords here. This person snapped out of this Two of Swords energy, and they're not even stressed anymore about it. They know that they have to protect their finances, their life, their reputation from this person here. They could have gotten a tarot reading. Okay. Four of Pentacles in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles. They're releasing an investment. Just letting it go. Not even, like, trying to, like, get papers to get it finalized or anything like that. They're definitely just, like, letting it go. They're releasing it. Even if they ask, even if this person has them on child support or alimony or something like that, or they owe them something, they're just going to give it to them just so they can get them away from them is what I'm getting here. That's why they're they're snapped out of this, of this Nine of Swords, Two of Swords energy. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles, please, in the reverse. Because they're releasing something. Four of Wands in the reverse. They're releasing a marriage that's not even stable. Four of Wands in the reverse, please, for Libra. Yeah. The Chariot. They're going to let this go. I don't know who I'm talking about. I don't want to say that someone's going to release you and let you go. If you're in some sort of, like, unstable marriage, then, Libra, I'm probably speaking to you as if you need to let someone go. But... I feel like some. I feel like a masculine is letting some someone go. They want to be loyal. They don't want to take care of this Queen of Wands and her baby. She's pregnant. <laughs> That's really what I'm getting here. She's pregnant, but she got it all off of spell work. Tell me I'm not lying. Ace of Cups, the Devil, Queen of Wands reverse, and the Seven of Cups. She had nothing but illusions for this person. Always keeping them waiting. I feel like whatever they did to you, they're doing to this person now. It could be a Capricorn or a Fire sign. Or someone that likes to just confuse people with their with their beauty and, and their passion, things like that. Clarify the chariot, please. Why is the chariot here for Libra? Why is the chariot here for Libra? Ooh. We have the lovers here and the five of wands. Like I said, there could have been people here. There was a lot of competition around this love situation that you have. Yeah, I feel like someone here is releasing it. Someone... someone 
people are being released. It could just be like a few people, but it looks like a lot of people are. Someone's going to fight for this. Someone's going to have to fight for this, is what I'm getting here, Libra. If they want to be with you, they choose you, but there's some sort of conflict about it. They could be fighting about you to other people. All right. I didn't know Libra was that important, but I guess so. Every time I see a Libra reading or every time I do a Libra reading, it's everybody fighting over Libra or about Libra. Libras be the first thing people think when they wake up and the last thing when they go to sleep. And I'm not even boasting about it. I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of people involved here, okay? And they're worried about your love life, okay? So you must be important. Okay, so the Nine of Wands here in the reverse for Libra. Nine of Wands in reverse for Libra. Look, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles here. I'm getting vibes that this is like a family. You're you're healed. You're healed. Your um finances are protected. Nothing is gonna happen to your finances. But they want you to be vulnerable when it comes to that, but it's not gonna work. Ten of Swords, please, in the reverse for Libra. Because you have a legacy here. But we have the Queen of Cups here. I feel like that's you guys right now. Because I feel like you guys you guys manifest things from your heart right now. And you're just on the lighter side of things. You're taking your self-loving. You have a lot of empathy. Things don't really hurt you emotionally. The Queen of Cups is emotionally strong. Okay? Especially when she's upright. Okay? And this Queen of Wands is no match for someone who's emotionally strong. She may try to do things to be toxic and try to get underneath your skin. That's what the Queen of Wands would do. She would act a certain way to get a reaction out of other women. Okay? Because she's all about competition and jealousy sometimes when she's in the reverse. But you're so emotionally balanced here, Queen of Cups. It's not affecting you and you're more focused on your family life. Look, we have a hermit here. You're a ghost in this situation. I feel like someone here is calling you weak for that though. But you're normally an outcast. All of your success, all of your successes are sneaky. And that's what that's why they're stuck. They're worried about your success, but all your successes are sneaky. Your successes aren't always out in public like a Queen of Wands would do it. If you understand what I mean. Um let me see. Let's get some energy from the Twin Flame Oracle. It's like you're guided by your ancestor, guys. Something about the weather, too, is, like, really appealing to you right now. You guys love that. Well, it's because we're heading into uh, Virgo and Libra season. But you guys really like the weather of, um, you know, like, rain. You like rain and things like that. You like when the weather starts to turn into fall or autumn. And right now, there's a breeze going on right now. And a lot of people... Well, a lot of Libras right now are just chilling. We're just chilling over here. But there's some stuff going on with this person. Let's get some energy, please, for Libra. Holy Spirit and Angel, what's going on with Libra? You're going to find out about this, too. Shadow side, the dark night. This person is in their shadow side right now. This person wants you to be like them. And we also have sun here, empowerment, but you're too strong for that. Someone's shadow side got exposed, too. You you see everyone for who they are, pretty much. You see everyone for who they are. Oh, and would you look at that. We have temptation, deception coming out. <sighs> I'm irritated. Someone is hiding something from you, Libra. They're thinking the more that they hold it back, the more hurtful it'll be when it comes out. So prepare yourself. You're very strong, though. You have a lot of strength for whatever secret this is. You know? And things like this happen to get in your way of your, your uh, goals. You got something you're focused on next thing you hear about, something that someone else did that they lied to you about. It's a distraction, okay? Whatever they're doing. What else for Libra, Holy Spirit, Angels? What else for Libra? Truth, expression, in the reverse. Like I said, someone here lied. Someone here lied about something, Libra. Someone here lied. Okay, I'm also hearing that this girl 
or you know it could be a man it doesn't have to be a girl but this person here is obsessed with you okay they're both obsessed with you i'm sorry we have guilt sabotage this person feels guilty about what they've done i'm also getting that this queen of wands in reverse this unexperienced witch right um she feels guilty for what she's done because she doesn't understand consequences yeah we have avoidance you're avoiding both of these people and you're acting like you don't see them you don't want a reunion with them that's in the reverse and then we have assistance from your spirit guides here so you're more protective and no one can throw you off your game let me get some uh emotions and then i'll close this reading out what are the emotions around libra What are the emotions right now around Libra, Holy Spirit, and Angels? Ha, huh, change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You're not going to get anywhere by dwelling about this person, whatever they're doing. You got to change. You got to make something happen for yourself. Then we have purpose. I know what I'm here to do. The reason why you're so protected is because you know what you're here to do. The reason why things like this are happening because people know what you're here to do, Libra. Very powerful reading. And then we have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Something here is going to come out. Like I said, just be patient about it. All right. Yeah, someone here, regret. I know that I cannot change the past. You won't be able to change the past. So just keep moving forward and focus on whatever you have in mind about doing. Any project, any business venture, traveling, moving, just starting school, anything that you're doing, keep doing that. Because someone here is going to try to distract you from their with their own drama. All right. Libra, so that was your reading. I hope this uh, resonated for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I will see you guys next week. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.